manager of 15 years commits suicide during lunch break company screwed him over. I come back from lunch to realize that the entire office is in tears. A manager who has committed 15 years to this company was let go with only four weeks severance pay after we were bought out by a private equity firm. This man dedicated his life and existence to our company and during lunch, he jumped off of an overpass. No job is worth your mental health. And please do not make your identity your job. I'm a therapist who works with corporate employees. For mental health, one goal is to help people realize their company does not love them, will not be loyal to them and will get as much work out of them for as little pay as possible. That is what they do. Keeping this perspective helps people advocate for themselves and to always be thinking of how to increase and leverage their skills in case of layoffs. No corporation is a family. This is sad as fuck. In some way, please try to fight for him. Even in his death. His death should not be meaningless as he probably assumed that it was. I fucking hate private equity firms. Oh man is this what happens to rock stars working at companies that are like a family and aren't afraid to go above and beyond? Yes. Yes it is. This is where it leads to. Used and abused. New company overlords rejoice because they don't need to pay severance. Publicize the private equity firm and how it led to your manager's death. They deserve to wear it and their investors should be made aware of the impacts of their investments. And yet people wonder why us the younger generation refuse to take corporate bull. This is awful what happened to your friend. He didn't deserve that. I've never worked for anyone that long yet, but I understand the pain. Not being able to afford food, going hungry because your job refuses to pay you more than Ehat barely lets you survive. Fuck companies and their greedy money-grubbing goblin excuses for human beings. Meanwhile, new manager is like morn on your own time. Back to work peasants. This shows you what loyalty to your employer buys you. Not a damn thing. Please fight for him. Do whatever you can. Don't let his death be in vain. Read through all the comments. Workers' revolution when? Pieces of shit like Romney and the fuck sticks that run companies like this need to fucking die. They are part of the disease that is slowly killing America. It probably wasn't about his identity. Once you're older, it's almost impossible to get hired. The companies want young talent, fresh minds to mold in their image, and someone they can get away with paying less. He was looking at his financial future in absolute ruins after he'd done everything he could to safeguard it. Mirica. I get it. Oh hell no, no job is worth it but if he dedicated 15 years he should have received some type of lower position within the company to show some respect for his service. Committed 15 years to this company. In return he gets laid off, jumps, and get one minute of silence during the next team meeting. Then no one will ever mention him again. Corporations are gals. Don't commit to gals. If you're thinking about suicide, are worried about a friend or loved one, or would like emotional support, the Lifeline Network is available 24-7 across the United States. The Lifeline is available for everyone, is free, and confidential. See below for additional crisis services and hotlines. 988 Suicide Crisis Lifeline. Dial or text 988 foot. Have you considered it wasn't that his job is his identity but that four weeks severance was going to leave him in poverty, main lose his wife, not afford food for his family, or any of the other things that getting laid off after 15 years means for someone? Wow that is so sad, this world is so horrible. In capitalism, most suicides are murders. Work will literally work around your dead body, as Amazon did. Private equity runs America now. They own your food, housing, medical care, and more. This is incredibly sad. There are two huge problems that this highlights. One, that companies are able to, and do, treat their employees like subhuman trash, which drives people to feel worthless, exhausted, and depressed. 
2. That our society is a fucking failure in terms of safety nets and support for people, so when they do lose their shitty jobs, they legitimately have almost zero help and zero options and feel like the best solution is to no longer be alive. I say this all the time, I just quit my position of three month. They kept trying to make me do things that could either cause damage to myself or property. They wrote me up with a final warning, no verbal, no written. I walked out, told them they could go ahead and do it themselves. Which they can't, due to not having the license required or experience to do it. I'm so sorry for his families didn't have to be this way. My father told me that if you don't own the company or own stock, don't get caught up in what they do because you can be replaced. I stick to my scheduled hours, I do everything I can afford to take care of myself outside of work, have hobbies, friendships, and use my job for what they are to me. Money. Sad for the man. Horrible situation and should happen. My condolences. This is why you should never be too loyal to any employer, no matter how bad or good they are. Things change, and they won't hesitate letting you go regardless of your performance. Most people in private equity are scumbags. They should be tossed off of bridges instead of this poor guy. Anyone whose company is bought out by PE needs to immediately update their resume and be ready to be terminated. PE is legalized theft and only helps the rich get richer and everyone else's expense. Rest in peace. Sorry to hear this, really bummed me out. Private equity firms need to be hung out to dry. That business tactic is bleeding all Americans, and our government completely dry. I hate to sound doom and gloom, but it's only going to get worse. I am surprised we don't see more employee retaliation right now. Honestly, why are we eating the rich yet? Are we saving that for the end of the year? Can we make this go viral? We need unions. We need an uproar. This gives me rage. How much do you want to bet that his spouse will not see that four-week severance? That's the Mitt Romney Bain Capital Playbook. Buy a company, fire all the people and offshore all the work to China and some other low-wage nation. Audax Private Equity started by 1S who had worked at Bain bought a company I worked for and laid off all US workers except for approx 20 PPL. As Mitten's Romney famously said corporations are people too my friends. What a bunch of fuck-faced assholes these people are. This story should be put on blast in the media. He was last heard saying that he has only four weeks severance after dedicating 15 years of his life to the company. Did they even give you guys any type of crisis counseling? That's a heavy blow to morale. That's so sad. I wish he had waited to form a proper plan of resistance instead of an emotional one. Fuck work. Yeah unless you own the company absolutely. Do not work more than the 40 hours a week you are required to work. Unless you are being paid time and a half over 40 hours do not work more than is contractual required of you. The second they find something that can do your job for less money they won't hesitate to replace you and that's the mentality we need to instill in the modern workforce. Recommend that they name a conference room after him, just to stick it in their eye. I started my career fresh out of college working for the staffing firm Aerotech. Easily worked 7 to 7 and some weekends. All salary but there was commission and a sales contest. I killed myself for that stupid contest and I never even came close. My director called me at all hours of the night and day. Text, video chat, phone call. Young and dumb I didn't set boundaries. Know what I did come close to? Driving my truck off an overpass thinking man I'd get at least three weeks off if I lived. Yeah checked out after that quit 40 days later. Fuck that company. I guess it's not just about identity. It's also survival. For weeks isn't shit. Assholes. I feel like there's an opportunity to study the ruthlessness of capitalism here. I'm so sorry for him, and you, and your co-workers. Truly awful. I'll bet the company is real stoked not to have to pay that severance. RIP